Uh, former President Trump says he received a letter from Jack Smith saying he's a target of a grand jury investigation on January 6th. Do you have a reaction to that? Yeah, it's absolute bullshit. Yeah, that's my reaction. Um, this is the only way that the Democrats have to beat President Trump is to arrest him, smear him, charge him with ridiculous charges, all in a cover-up of Joe Biden's crimes, Hunter Biden's crimes. It's, it's unbelievable. It's hard to even recognize that this is our country. Um, the American people are going to be furious. And, and what Jack Smith is doing is, is the weaponized government. And he's weaponizing the Department of Justice against President Trump in a complete lie about President Trump and January 6th. And it's, it's outrageous. I can't believe our country has to endure this. Um, and I'll be standing with President Trump the entire way. Have you spoken to him since this? I have not spoken with him yet, but I'm sure I'll be talking with him very soon. Given the fact that this is not the first time he's been the target of one of these investigations, do you find this one to be more serious? Yes, I find it to be more serious because the charges they're looking at bringing against him, they arrested people on January 6th. They held them pre-trial. They never let them out on bail. And is, the question that I want to ask Jack Smith, is this the plan? Are they going to arrest President Trump? Trump charge him with phony, fake charges and then hold him in prison while he is winning the Republican primary, while he's going to win the general election in 2024? Is this, is this where our country is now? Because it's an embarrassment on the world stage. If this is the direction America is going in, we are worse than Russia. We are worse than China. We are worse than some of the most corrupt third world countries. And this needs to end. It's an absolute lie. And every single time President Trump has proven innocent time and time and time again. And he'll be proven innocent he, again. He hasn't had a trial, though, right, related to the last indictment. He shouldn't have a trial related to the last indictment. This is ridiculous. The document hoax is nothing but a hoax. And now they're going to try to charge him with some kind of seditious conspiracy on, on January 6th. It's ridiculous. Saying march peacefully, go in peace to the Capitol. How is that seditious conspiracy? It's not. And there's nothing wrong with asking questions about elections. That is exactly what we should do. We should make sure that our elections are safe. We should make sure that we have election integrity. There's nothing wrong with saying, look into this. Was there election fraud? Are you talking specifically about his conversations with officials in Georgia? I'm talking specifically on every single level. He can ask, was there election fraud? I should be able to ask if there's election but fraud. But can he ask them to find a specific amount of votes? That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying there's nothing wrong with asking for election fraud. And yeah, he can say, hey, where are these votes? You want to know why? My ex-husband still has not heard from the Georgia Secretary of State of why when he showed up to vote in person in 2020, he was told, I'm sorry, sir, you've already voted by absentee ballot. And he didn't. Then, he had to, then we were called liars. I was called a liar. He was called a liar. Then we had to hire an attorney, do a FOIA request, and prove that, no, he never requested an absentee ballot. He never sent in an absentee ballot. He never voted by absentee. So why did the Georgia Secretary of State website have him voting by absentee? And he wasn't the only one. He stood in a line of people that all were told the same thing, and that was reported all over Georgia. There's nothing wrong with asking, hey, where are, are there some votes? What's going on here? What's happening? With this, with this election, because clearly there was election fraud, and we still haven't heard an answer on you it. You said you haven't talked to the former president. Do you plan to talk to him after the I hope to talk to him soon to express how, how deeply sorry I am for him that the Democrats in Washington and the Department of Justice are weaponized against him because they can't figure out how to win. Democrats can't win on their policies. Their policies are open borders, baby murder, transgender surgeries for children, uh, America lasts, America lasts, America lasts. 300 Americans dying every single day from fentanyl. You can't win an election when that's your policy. What do you think that the House Judiciary Committee should do in response? 